Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Harin Kanani. I am from uh, Neogen Chemicals India, and uh, I just want to take this opportunity and take you to the world of bromine compounds as we see it in India. So, just an introduction about our company mostly. Uh, our company Neogen Chemicals is into manufacture of bromine compounds, uh, lithium inorganic lithium compounds and Grignard reagents. And based on customer requests, we also do some more advanced chemistry. Uh, this company was started, it's a family owned company. It was started by my father, Mr. H. T. Kanani. He was the first person to set up a bromine plant in India. So we call him lovingly bromine man of India because he's been uh, working with bromine for the last 40 years. So I'm the bromine son. So second generation uh, into the company. I'm also, we both are chemical engineers, and uh, I've done my PhD in US uh, from University of Maryland College Park, and worked in DuPont. And last five years, I've come, uh, helped my father run and take this company forward. So again, just a brief history of my company. As I mentioned, my father set up the first uh, bromine plant in 1972 in India. So this was the first bromine plant in India made with Indian technology even before there was a plant in China. Uh, unfortunately, there was a big flood which destroyed his plant. He suffered heavy financial losses. So he worked as a consultant helping other people set up bromine plant. So he's been instrumental and had, has played some role in almost all the bromine plants which exist in India as of today. Uh, once he'd recovered all the losses from consultancy, he started Neogen Chemicals to make bromine compounds. So we started in 1989. So it's been almost 20 years since then. Uh, as of now, we are a team of about 85 people. We have people with a lot of diverse experience in bromine chemistry. And uh, our plant currently is blazed in Navi Mumbai, or it's just outside New Bombay, uh, just outside the Bombay city, very close to the Nawashiva port. This is the chemistries that we do. Uh, bromination is our central chemistry, uh, but we also do we also do specialty chlorination, esterification, and for last 10 years, based on customer requests, we've also moved into Grignard chemistry. On the inorganic side, we do uh, inorganic lithium salts, and uh, based on my uh, PhD in biotransformation area, we are now adding uh, chemistries with biocatalysis using enzymes. Uh, also, as I mentioned before, we can do some more chemistry like uh, alkylation, amination. So this is basically based on, for specific intermediates, for a specific customer, we can develop an advanced intermediate, starting with the basic chemistries, and do alkylation, amination, oxidation, dehalogenation. Uh, since we are into Grignard, we recently also did a silylation project, starting with a Grignard molecule. We can also do Grignard reaction, and now we also started doing uh, fluorine-bromine exchange, or the helix reactions. Uh, about our capacities, so we can do custom projects. So I just want to give you an idea of our capacities. We have currently about 40,000 liter uh, glass line reactor capacity with uh, reactor sizes varying from 250 to 6,000. Uh, we have 30,000 liters of SS and HDP reactor capacity. Uh, we can do reactions from minus 10 on the lower side to 170 degrees on the upper side. Uh, we can do vacuum distillation at around 5 to 10 millimeters of mercury with about 12 theoretical stages. And we also have SS uh, agitated nuge filter and dryer for solid products. This is about our business. So pharma is almost 60% of our business. So almost uh, most of the pharma customers in India, API manufacturers in India are our customers. And now we also have customers in Europe, US, and Japan. 20% uh, of the business is agrochemicals. This is mostly specialty agro rather than bulk commodity kind of agro. And the inorganic lithium uh, is used in engineering industry. So we have about 20% of our business coming from engineering companies. So it's a little bit diversified. Uh, we've been growing very fast. Uh, last uh, 10 years, as you can see from the graph, we almost become six times our original size with a growth rate of almost 23% year-on-year for last five years. Uh, 
since we are talking about bromine, uh, always there is an issue about supply. So everybody knows that Dead Sea bromine in Israel is the biggest source of bromine and the biggest bromine production happens there. What people don't know is that the journey which my dad started in 1972 by setting up a bromine plant has flourished well. So even today, India has around 25 to 30,000 tons of bromine production capacity. Uh, there are five plants, uh, and the source of the bromine is a renewable source. So it gets replenished every year. So it's not like you are mining from underground or something which is going to run out. So this is a renewable source, so you get a good bromine supply year long, and you can expect it to be there for a long period of time. Because of the same reason, there are more bromine manufacturers trying to come to India, and this capacity in the next three years is expected to increase to maybe 35,000 to 40,000. As a company, since my father was in the bromine field, we have good relationship with all bromine manufacturers in India as well as internationally. So we can source bromine both locally as well as international. So we have a good uh, stability on our bromine supply. Uh, we've also been into exports now for last 12 years. As you can see, we've been exporting to Europe, Japan, US for almost more than a decade. So this has given us a good experience in handling international logistics. Uh, in general, our exports have been steadily increasing. And for last three years, about 40 to 50% of our business is for exports. Uh, Europe, Japan, and US are our major market outside of India. We give DDP service to our customers. So we give you the same service as you can get from your Euro European suppliers. And we are pre reach pre-registered for all our products. Uh, recently, Government of India also recognized us and gave us a Star Export House certificate uh, because of our increasing exports. Uh, this is about our quality. We always, especially when we are in pharma, uh, quality is very critical, and especially the impurity control. So we always want to give quality which is better than what the customer needs. And uh, if a customer has a specific impurity which is very critical, we make sure we control it at 50% of the customer's desired levels. So whatever variation happens in our process or analysis, we never get a rejection. This is uh, more about our quality. We have a dedicated uh, QC, QA team of about eight people, so about 10% of our staff. We have a well-equipped QC lab with all the instruments in-house. Uh, we also do quality inspection at each and every stage. Uh, our plant is ISO 9000 certified. And it has also been audited by customers from Europe, Japan, and India, uh, more than 30 customers, which is more important for us. Because they come and certify, we are following the GMP guidelines, which is much stricter than the ISO guidelines. We also have uh, active R&D. So we have a team of about eight people, again, 10% of our staff. Uh, we do 12 to 15 projects every year uh, with about 50% success rate. So we add six to seven new molecules uh, every year. And uh, we are now thinking of expansion into much larger facility, a little bit away from Mumbai. And to support that, uh, it's going to be almost 10 times our current size. So to support that, we are also now going to set up a much more wider uh, R&D setup. Uh, as I mentioned, we can do custom manufacturing for you. We've done five stages, reactions, uh, custom based on NDA agreements. I already mentioned to you chilling plant uh, and temperature capacities. Uh, also, we like to associate with our customer right at their R&D stage so that we are with them right at the gram level uh, when you're starting your R&D. So when you scale up, uh, you, know, you have a more chance of getting the same consistent quality. Also, it allows us to learn a lot. So I'll give you an example. We have a customer in Spain. So they wanted us, uh, just in phase one, to develop a molecule custom for them. Nobody had seen the molecule before. We developed it. Uh, there was an impurity where the limit was about 0.5%. After phase two, they realized that this impurity needed to be much less because of toxicity. So we went down from 0.5% to 30 ppm. So below 30 ppm. And almost most of the time, we get below detection limits. And because of the same kind of quality which we've been giving it to them, they've signed like a 10-year supply contract with us. So this is the kind of ideal projects uh, we'd like to do and associate with uh, companies at their R&D center, R&D stage level.
this is just a broad category of products we can do. Uh, we do uh, alkyl bromides with custom impurity control. We do dibromoalkanes, C2 to C14, uh, chloroalkanes. Sorry, it's bromochloroalkanes. This is one of our very strong areas. Uh, we do benzene-based benzene, benzene -based derivative, uh, unsaturated bromine compounds. We got a very wide range of uh, aliphatic uh, bromine compounds and increasing range of aromatic bromine compounds. Uh, another thing is that totally along with our Grignards, we have around 120 products in our product list. From these, every year, my plant produces 60 to 70 products. So it's only not only that we have a wide range of chemistries we can offer, but we actually make wide range of products every single year. Uh, these are some of the new compounds we will launch in case if any of these uh, meets your requirement. And we have a booth in Hall 5.1, uh, 51C52. Uh, you are welcome to come in case if this is of interest. And uh, or just after this, uh, we can have a chat. So that's it. Uh, these are uh, the main contact details. And in case if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.